Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to configure dynamic email using dynamic content plugin for Elementor for Elementor Pro. By default, for Elementor Pro form, when you click on Actions after Submit and pick Email and Email to, you can see that email is usually used to send the form contact form entry to an admin address or anyone who's handling the query. And email to is used to send a confirmation email to whoever fills the form. But using dynamic content pl plugin for Elementor, you can configure when and how to send the email based on the data entered into the contact form, which is highly powerful. And this video is sponsored by the folks behind dynamic content plugin. Let's get into the tutorial. In your WordPress dashboard, click on pages. Click on add new if you don't have a contact form yet or contact page yet. I'll just click on add new just to demonstrate the stuff. I'll just call it new form. Give it a title of new form and click on the page on the right hand side. And below that click on template and choose Elementor full width so that we get full flexibility. Hit publish, hit publish again. And now click on edit with Elementor, which will essentially take us to Elementor interface. And this tutorial requires both Elementor Pro for the contact form itself and dynamic content plugin. Links to both will be in the description. So in the left hand side, you can click on the widgets button or click on the search bar and search for form. And it's this one. Click and drag that. And when you see the blue outline, just release that. That's going to create a section with Elementor contact form in it. I'll just click on the section, click on the height and Let's set it to fit to screen. So something like that. You can also click on the section and change the width so that that affects the form width as well, right? If you change the content width of this section, it will change the form width as well. I'll actually demonstrate this using the contact form, which is already there on my website. So I'll just click on this form and click on actions after submit. Now I'll just simply remove email and email too. You can simply click on this plus or click on the empty area. Scroll down till you see dynamic email. Just click on that and that essentially selects that action. Down below you see dynamic email. Click on dynamic email and by default an email is added. If it's not you can add as many as you wish. So you can simply click the plus add item and for each item is basically going to send an email to each email address that you specify based on the conditions. I'll just click on this and you can simply enable or disable this. You can add a condition for it. So only if a field has a particular value, you can send this email or if the field doesn't have a value, you can ignore this, but you can anyway, make all the fields required, right? You can make the name field required, email field required and all that stuff. So we really don't need this validation for our email. In case you wish to, you can simply match it with any expression and so on, right? So if I say email, you see, you get options like valued, empty, less than value, greater than value. If it's a number, you can pick less than and enter any number that you wish to or equal to you can do the same. But anyway, we don't need it. So I'm just going to delete the field value subject. You can change the subject to by default. It picks my admin email address of this website. You can simply remove that or you can simply click on the dynamic tag, scroll down, click on token, click on token again. And in here, you can type square braces within square braces form colon and after colon you need to put the ID of the field that you want to pick, right? So if I want this two to be equal to the value of email, I should pick the emails ID. I'll click on form fields. I'll click on the field, go to advanced and its ID is email. You can also change it and let's use that. Again, I'll click on dynamic email tab, click on emails, scroll down, click on token again, and the token is going to be within square braces, form, colon, and email, right? Essentially, 
when user submits this form it will be sent to the email address of the form submitted so whichever email is filled in the form he'll basically get this email so down below you can also add reply to field essentially reply to is basically telling the user whoever receives this email whom to reply to so when he clicks on reply on that email this value will be populated you can pick this value you can maybe pick it as your email admin address your wordpress admin address you can also have a carbon copy blank carbon copy now you can try to send it as html and for email body you can simply click this message and you can use all the tokens so you can say something like form colon name which is the idea of the name field comma you said and then you can say form colon and the message field id and the id of the message field and you to click on this click on advanced and it's basically message so i can simply type message in here i'll remove this token for now it will basically send the email to my admin email address so form colon message all right you can also upload attachments and delete them once the email is sent so you can also have a file upload field in this form we'll get to that in a bit i'll hit update this is how the users will see i'll just click on contact us i'll type in my email let me fill some details since this form is going to send it to my admin email address which is contact.designschool i'll type some random data and just click on send and that's basically going to send the form you need to check your email on how the form is sent and if i check the inbox for the email from the website if you don't get the email if it's lost or if it's sent to spam folder you need to fix it using something called wordpress smtp i made a separate tutorial on that link to that will be in the description so i'll just click on this and this is how the message is going to look like so basically form colon name essentially replaces the name field and you said after that we put another token and that's going to replace whichever message he types in the message field right so this is how he's going to get the email from us now let's take it a step further i'll just click on template let's actually design a template for our email right so i'll just click on this plus button and that will take us to elementor interface i'll just click section i'll say new email format or new email template I'll just click on template so you can use elementor itself to design a template for the message right basically the message now looks something like this we can make it a bit more interesting using the elementor interface i'll just click on this let's design a template i'll create a new section now we can use all sorts of widgets but do note when you're designing a template using elementor itself not everything is going to be displayed and not everything is going to look like the way it looks in elementor interface you'll understand what i mean in a bit so i can basically drag in my heading widget give it a tag of h3 click on token scroll down click on token token again and this heading basically can be my data right and that is form colon name and you can also click on advanced and before that i can simply type dear and space and that's going to look something like that now you can try changing the text color in here but essentially your email client may not support it you'll understand what i mean in a bit so when we do this when the email is sent it will say dear and this will be replaced with the value of the name field now i'll duplicate this and just click and drag text editor widget and i'll again click on dynamic tags scroll down click on token click on token again and this should be my message so i'm gonna say form colon message i'll say you wrote after that i'll use a break so this is going to put the content in a new line all right so that's great and let's also try styling this a bit Let's also change the style to italic right let's see how that's gonna look like in our email let's also add an image 
basically that's going to be our logo i'll just click on choose image and again svgs don't work so i'll pick a normal image click on insert media let's align it onto the left it doesn't matter so this is basically going to be our template right i'll hit publish so this template is published now i'll click on update on this contact form reload this once reload this contact us form page in elementor interface click on this again again go to dynamic email click on the email first action scroll down and the template name is basically new email template right so i'll just click within this box type new and it's this one right so all the data will basically be formatted into this but if you try using the styles options you may not have all the data properly appearing so i'll remove this for now you can play with all the different options and see how that's going to look like in your email client and test them across different clients i'll simply reload this page let's fill another data i'll say karthik2 email let's put another email just enter a random data i'll say this is my second message i'll say what do you think i'll just click on send let me try reloading this and there's our new message from digital algorithm i'll just click on that and just like that we see how it's basically going to reflect in the email right so this is how it's going to look like on gmail you can test it with different mail clients you can test it on outlook you can test it on maybe yahoo mail i don't know what you use so you need to test it and make sure that it looks good on all the platforms so basically you can design the way the email is sent using dynamic email you can basically specify a condition when this should be sent you can also change to whom it should be sent and this is highly powerful now you can try adding some stuff like icons and stuff but i don't think they are actually going to work or look like right let's try few different widgets in here so i'll use an icon box widget I'll remove this text. Let's try this and see how it looks on our email. I'll hit update. So basically I updated this email template. Again, I can fill in the data. Let me fill the data. Now this time it will be Karthik45, me at the rate mail.com. Random message. Again, I'll just click on send and that's going to send another email address. Now I can go back to my inbox and refresh this refresh this again and just like that i got the message again if you're not getting it follow the smtp tutorial link to that will be in the description you need to fix if the email is not sent it's quite simple link to that will be in the description again i'll just click on me and you can see basically the icon is not displayed you can try playing with different options in here right now they've given styles you can try using inline style a table style you can see if it's working for you some random text i'll hit send and the form is sent just like that again it's time to go back to our inbox i'll refresh this inbox didn't see that again refresh this and just like that we got it so that's how the table view is going to look like right you can try aligning these things and you can play with different options you can see the lovely customer is positioned onto the center you can try doing the same with this so if i click on this if i align it onto the center and hit update i'll also align the image onto the center don't use complicated widgets they're anyway not going to be displayed in the email to whoever receives it so again let's try again i'll just hit send again and the contact form is sent again i can check my inbox to see how the styles are looking like i can simply hit refresh i'll hit refresh again and just like they got this so now everything is aligned on to the center special thanks to the folks behind dynamic content plugin for sponsoring this video that's it for now check out dynamic content plugin for elementary tutorials on the channel right i have a complete playlist you can learn everything about this powerful plugin that's it for now. I'll see you soon.